TypeScript supports the concept of inheritance. You can create a class which is a base class, quote unquote base class, and you can have other classes inherit from it by extending the class and adding overriding features. Again, remember none of these are available in JavaScript. When you're doing the class definitions and extensions and all that stuff, uh, what you're doing is basically having TypeScript create workarounds for it, create uh, the simulation of classes while actually using the concepts of prototypes and functions underneath. Uh, some of these features with classes are coming up in the new JavaScript uh, specifications, but they're not universally available. But you, if you're using TypeScript, you can use it without worry because you know that TypeScript is gonna convert it into a format which is generally supported. All right, so let's do some inheritance and see how it works. So I have a class called person here. It has a first name and a last name. Let's say I have a function called greet. And uh, this basically prints something to the console. It says, hey there, now this is a person. Now I can create another class which extends the person. Now let's say I wanna create a class called programmer. And uh, let's say I wanna extend person because programmers are people after all. So I'm gonna say extends person. And now I have a new class called programmer which inherits everything that the person has. I'm gonna save this. And here I'm going to say var a programmer equals new programmer. And I'm going to have a programmer do a greet. I'm going to compile this. And execute this. TSE classes are TS and node classes start JS. I'm just running this in one step. And um, sure enough, you get hey there. So it's basically calling a class, a method of a class, which doesn't really exist in the class itself, but which has been inherited from a parent class, which is person. It's calling the greet method on the person. Now the traditional concepts of inheritance apply pretty much the same way. You can extend and you can override methods. For instance, there is a greet. And let's say I override the greet method with uh, a console.log of, uh, let's say, hello world, because that's how programmers greet, not like normal people. I'm gonna save this and execute this again. And you see hello world. So it's basically calling the greet method, which is an extension of this thing. And uh, programmer, since it's extending person, it also gets their uh, first name and last name properties as well. So you can technically do the get full name thing where you do a this dot first name and this dot last name and call it from programmer. And it's gonna pick up the right first name and last name for that instance. So this is inheritance, which is pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna go into all the nuances there, uh, but one thing that I should point out is the use of the keyword super, and that's super important. I'll tell you what that is. So let's say you have uh, another method here. It says greet like normal people, because if you say hello world to somebody who says hi, that's gonna look odd unless the other person is a programmer. So let's say you wanna greet like normal people. So let's say you call greet, this dot greet. So I'm basically calling the method this dot greet now what happens if I say read like normal people, I'm still gonna get hello world, but here's what I wanna do. For the programmer class, I have a method which has the programmer greeting, which is hello world, but I also have this greet like normal people where I wanna call the greet method of the class that it's actually inheriting from, which is person. So it's supposed to call this method of the super class. The way to do this is by not using the this keyword, like you saw, this keyword just calls the greet method of that instance itself. What you need to do is you say super.greet, in which case what it's calling is the method, the implementation 
of the parent class, which is person. So if you do a super dot, then if you run this method, you see it prints hey there because it's actually calling the method of the of the parent class. But otherwise, if you just do a programmer dot greet, it just calls this method and it prints hello world. Again, these are object-oriented programming concepts which are common with inheritance. This is kind of like a requirement for this course. I'm not going to go into the details about how the implementation works, but know that there are a couple of things you can do. First, you can have a class extend another class and uh, you get to use the features of that class. And then you can call the super keyword. You can use the super keyword to refer to the parent class for accessing the methods and member variables. And you can use the this keyword for accessing methods and member variables of the class instance itself, of the current class, whatever is being implemented. All right, before we wind up, one last thing I wanna show you is the concept of polymorphism. This is again prevalent in object-oriented programming. It's the idea that you can have multiple instances of multiple classes referred to using a parent class type when it comes to typing. For example, a programmer here is of type programmer because implicit typing, you're saying new programmer and it's figured out that this is the type that you need. But what you can also do is have a programmer be of type person. Now, what happens? Now, a programmer is of type person, so you can still assign a programmer to this variable because a programmer is a person, has a, is a relationship because it extends it. But when you call methods on this variable, you can only use the methods and member variables of the type that it belongs to, which in, which in this case is person. You cannot use a method that's specific to the actual instance, which is programmer, because you're losing that information over here. You're making this of type person, which is the parent class. So you get to access only the parent class information, which is greet here. However, when you call this method, what you're going to get is that the instance implementation runs. So when you do a dot greet, it's going to call this dot greet. It's going to say hello world and it's not going to say hey there because the instance is still of programmer type. You're just referring to it as a person. Again, these are object oriented programming concepts, not going into too much detail, but you know that but you know, polymorphism works just the same way in TypeScript as with some of the other object-oriented programming languages that you are used to.